Okay, this is John Day, uh, live from the uh, region of death, 4A, region one. Great running today, nice cool weather. Tough course. Uh, girls, uh, Bridget Blake, no, no surprise there, came in first, followed by Mary Kay Ponder and uh, the freshman Emily Headley. Uh, Olympia ran away with the uh, team title for the girls. Uh, beat out uh, a game, Haggerty and uh, Dr. Phillips. It looked like it was going to be a little closer, but, uh, but uh, Olympia ended up winning it. So they're going into the state meet looking very, very strong. Uh, the, their top four were all, uh, you know, they're right there. Their fifth girl came on, and uh, Haggerty looked good, and Dr. Phillips looked good. So, you know, they're going to replay that. Uh, that little uh, game ne again next week at the state title against Ferguson and uh, and Lords. I think those. Uh, I think Ferguson is uh, and Plant and uh, St. Thomas Aquinas. That should be a good good duel between uh, all those schools. So we're looking forward to that. Boys side, Andre Saroyo, five seconds off the uh, meet record or the course record, 15:20. Looks strong the whole way. Uh, followed by Chris Godwin and then uh, Billy Anguish and uh, Mitchell Moore. Uh, top three boys teams, Colonial, strong, 52 points. I mean, they uh, they look, it's going to be a great meet next week between them and uh, Columbus, I think. We'll see. I think uh, Colonial looks strong today. They had, uh, you know, all, all top seven of those guys were, uh, they look strong as all get out. Second was close. Uh, second was Winter Park, 98 points. Uh, separated by only six points from third place Olympia and uh, don't count out any of those teams uh, Winter Park or Olympia um, I think they'll both do well next week uh, you know with Winter Park led by Billy Anguish uh, Olympia led by uh, Mitchell Moore but you know they all look strong today so great day of racing uh, looking forward to next week